We have a new Optimus update today. They've actually partnered up with Truth Seekers. That was announced yesterday on the James Pelton AMA. If you missed that AMA, I definitely recommend going to watch it. The team does try to answer some of the questions that James is asking and the community is asking. So definitely go take a look at that video. Now, I've actually been banned and kicked from the Discord, so I no longer have access. And one of the reasons why I got banned or kicked is because I was always asking questions. I was never happy with the answers they were providing, and I always wanted to know more about how it works. I've been invested in DeFi for about two years now, and I know that projects don't necessarily make it for very long in DeFi and things happen. And when they do, people start screaming. So I really want to understand how is this sustainable? And if it is, I just wanted to see some proof. Now, what's going to happen with this Truth Seekers partnership? One of the products that Truth Seekers actually offers is a wallet tracker or a wallet watcher. And here in DeFi Dude's video, he does show a sneak peek of what this looks. And basically what this means is that Optimus is going to give a few wallet addresses to Truth Seekers. And they're going to be able to put this on this dashboard. And now everybody's going to be able to track these specific wallets that Optimus decides to give out to people. Now that is obviously a great step in the right direction to show the wallet addresses and to see what's happening within these wallet addresses. But all of this is already public information. Now it's obviously going to be much easier for people to track if you're not familiar with how the blockchain works. This dashboard is going to be super easy for you to track. But something it doesn't necessarily show are the bots making enough profit to sustain the 1% inflation, which has been my main question throughout the entirety of Optimus, and it just hasn't been answered yet. And something else that DeFi Dude mentions in his video is that someone decided to create a staking slash lending platform. I'm not going to go into the details of that, but it does look like potentially people are going to be able to make 2% per day on Optimus. Again, I'm not going to speculate on that because I just don't have the info. So we're going to wait and see what exactly happens with this wallet watcher and something else. If we go into their audit from truth seekers, something else I was pointing out in their discord is this here. The profits of Optimus trades averaging 1% per day are distributed to OPT three holders automatically. Now, I obviously don't agree with this statement because we are going to get 1% per day in OPT3 tokens, regardless of the bots profit. So if the bots aren't making any money, you're still going to get the OPT3 1% per day. And if the bots are making money, it's still 1%. And if the bots are losing money, you're still going to be getting the 1% OPT3 on a daily basis. So the fact that it says here the profits of Optimus's trades averaging 1% per day is just simply not true. It's not the profits that are averaging 1% per day because we don't have any idea how much money these bots are making. And the 1% per day is actually given to holders in OPT3. And it doesn't matter about the profits of Optimus's trades because people are always going to be getting that 1% in OPT3. The 1% is only relevant for the sustainability of this project because if the bots are making 1% per day, then that could sustain the 1% inflation of Optimus. And that is obviously compounded every single day. So the bots need to continuously make money for this to be sustainable. Now, something else within this audit is that they have a max supply defined as a crazy number. And because we are inflating 1% daily, well, in 24 years, that max supply, the big number that they have as a max supply, the new supply is going to be bigger than that. So the contract would no longer work, but that's in 24 years. And I'm pretty sure that no DeFi project is going to be lasting for 24 years. And especially something that is always inflating. Now, if they become deflationary, it may be a different story. But for right now, 24 years and this issue is just simply pointless. 
The last thing I wanted to point out in this audit is this set limit could trigger set cool. It says the admin has the ability to change the limit within the function set limit. If that limit is set to zero, the function iterate will always trigger set cooldown which basically means that it is going to block the address from transfers for the next five days or forever if the admin changes to length via set length. So basically what this says is that within this function, the set limit and set cooldown, they can always set the limit at zero and the cooldown would always be five days and indefinitely they would basically be blacklisting a wallet. Now, I'm not saying that is anything they're going to do. I'm just saying there is a possibility within this audit that has also pointed this out. Now, in terms of alleviation, they do say that the next version of Optimus will fix this issue. So hopefully in Optimus V4, it is going to be fixed. But again, I don't think it's very important because I don't believe the team is going to blacklist wallets. Now, during my lovely discussions with the mods of Optimus, they were always attacking me and saying I was spreading fun and being uneducated and all of that. It was always great stuff having a conversation with them. But one of their mods or X mod now, Bruce786, I'm not too sure why he's no longer a mod, but he basically said, if you think Optimus is not making any money, then he sends a screenshot of wallet addresses with a bunch of money in it. Now, this is a screenshot that was sent by an Optimus mod with a bunch of transactions. And as we can see, there is a whole lot of Matic coming in as well as coming out from this wallet. So if we go ahead and we take a look at this wallet, which is 0x9e08c, if we take a look at this one on Polygon Scan, it brings up this wallet here, and you can do the same exercise for yourselves. And just to show you that this is the exact wallet in question, we can see the same 200,000 Matic coming in. This is 12 days ago because now we are November 15th. And on that screenshot, this was taken on Friday, November 11th, which is why it was seven days ago. But basically, these transactions, you have 200k. 200k 200k and then you have a 600k out and a 400k out and you can see the same exact transactions here so now that we know we have the correct wallet i was interested in seeing where was all of this matic going because as we can see with this wallet here nothing really stays in this wallet everything that comes in goes out and it goes out to this wallet here which ends in cccf now, if we go take a look at this wallet, and of course it ends in CCCF, it's the same wallet, we can see that they have $780,000 in here, and they also have an extra 268,000 in Matic, so they have about a million dollars in this wallet. Now, I'm not sure if this is a bot wallet, if this is one of their reserve wallets, but this is definitely a wallet that has a lot of money in it. Now, I was again interested in seeing exactly where this money was going, if this money was staying in there, or if it was going to be used elsewhere. Now, you can see they have 250k of DAI and about 225k of USDC and about the same in USD Tether. So if we take a look at exactly where this money is going, it's coming in from a variety of different places. But if we take a look at exactly where it's going, if we go to view all, because we want to find a transaction that's actually leaving this wallet, because as we can see, if we take a look at transactions that are leaving the wallet, we can kind of understand where this money is going. So as we can see, six hour, or about seven hours ago, we have $614,000 in USDT Tether going to this wallet here, which ends in 4447. Now, if we go on to this wallet here, we have another great wallet with about $3 million in USDT, in Ethereum, in DAI, and you also have about $750,000 in Matic. So that brings us to this again, is this a bot wallet? Is this a reserve wallet? We are not too sure. 
But what is going to be good is with this Truth Seekers wallet tracker. Again, depending on which wallets they do decide to post on there, people are going to be able to have access and see the balances of wallets that, again, they decide which wallets go on there. But people are going to be able to see this and you won't have to go through what I just did to see the balances in these wallets. So now that we've stumbled on this wallet here, we see that there's a whole lot of transactions happening. It is for half a million dollars, even a million dollars at one point, quarter million. There is a lot of money that's coming in and coming out from this wallet. So the best way to figure out exactly what's happening and basically what Truth Seekers is going to be doing is they're going to be tracking what is coming in and what's coming out of all these wallets. And you can also do this yourself with the website explorer.bitquery. And as we can see, I've pasted this same wallet address that ends in 4447. And this is over the last month. Now, let me just go and put it over the last seven days just to give you a smaller window of time. So what this website allows us to do is it allows us to understand what money is coming in a specific wallet and where that money is going out from that specific wallet. So in the middle here, we have our 4447 wallet. And as you can see, over the last seven days, 2.5 million Matic have come in and about 4 million Matic have come out. Now, this is only Matic. It doesn't account USDC and USDT. We are going to take a look at those after. Now, what we can do is we can go into another depth level to see where the money goes after it reaches this level. So if we go to outbound layer two, you see a bunch of different wallets and a bunch of different money moving to different wallets. Now, it doesn't mean much right now, but if we go to the depth layer number three of the outbound transactions from these first wallets, we can see that a lot of money is actually going into this wallet, which ends in 245. So you can see that the initial three wallets that we had, some of the money is all going to this wallet here, and then most of the money is going to the 245 wallet. So this 245 wallet, if we right click this, this is going to bring us to that wallet page. And if we go ahead and we copy this wallet and we put it into Polygon Scan to see what exactly is this wallet, we can understand that this is a Binance hot wallet. So this wallet is actually associated to Binance. And basically what this means is that all the money coming into this wallet is going to the Binance hot wallet. So now what they do after with this money, I'm not too sure. Do they leave it on the exchange? Do they send it out to other wallets? Again, I am not quite sure. So as we can see, we have 762,000 Matic that are coming over to this Binance Hot Wallet in the last seven days. Now we can go ahead and we can do the same thing with USDC. Let me go ahead and pull up USDC. It is going to load and it's going to do the exact same thing. So if we if we lower it down here to make it a bit nicer, the first thing is again that 447, about 3.8 million USDC is coming in, 5.2 million is going out into these other wallets. And again, if we find the same Binance wallet, which is ending in 245, you can see that about $820,000 over the last seven days have been deposited onto Binance. Now, last but not least, we can do the same thing with USDT. And if we go ahead and do that, we can see that from that same wallet, the 447, they have about 6.7 million USDT coming in, about 7 million coming out. And if we find the same Binance wallet again, it's right over here, about 1.1 million USDT that was sent over to the Binance wallet. Now, I'm not saying that none of this money is coming back into the ecosystem. I have absolutely no idea what's coming on with this Binance hot wallet, exactly what they are doing with the wallet but as we can see a lot of money is funneling into this binance wallet so this tool here is awesome i really do love it and if we just take a look at the last month let's say between october 1st and 31st if we do the same thing and we try to find that binance hot wallet which is this one here, this is Matic. We have 864,000 Matic going to the Binance wallets. We do the same with USDC. 
we have about $5.5 million going to Binance here. And if I do increase it to the depth level number three, for the inbound wallet, we do see that about 1.3 million USDC from Binance is actually going back into the ecosystem. But from that 5.6 million, where is the rest of the money? Now, again, not saying that this is not being used for reserves, not saying anything like that. I'm just showing you guys where the money is going. So that was USDC and we can do the exact same with USDT. So again, this is for the whole month of October in USDT. The Binance Hot Wallet is this one here. They are receiving $6.7 million in USDT. About $4.13 million is taken out. But you can also see all of these wallets that are actually receiving the initial USDT. So it goes to a bunch of these smaller wallets and then it all funnels back into the Binance Hot Wallet. And then a bunch of transactions from the Binance Hot Wallet are coming back into the ecosystem. But like we said, it's only about 4.13 million and they've received 6.7 million. So again, where is that extra money going to? Is it going to the reserves? Is it going to the bots? Is it staying on Binance for a better day? All that to say is that we don't necessarily know. So I hope you guys enjoy the transparency of this video. I mean, you can literally go and have fun with this tool, but the Truth Seeker Wallet Watcher is basically going to be doing this for you. It's gonna let you know what's happening inside of these crazy wallets. Again, depending on which wallets Optimus decides to share with the community, but with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.